Job 22. We're going to start reading, I think, in verse 23 through 28. Job 22, 23 through 28. If you're ready for the PWOD, go ahead and tell me. Put it up there. Say, I'm ready for the prophetic word of the day. And we are going to get directly into this word this morning. Um, the Bible says here in Job 22, verse 23, starting in 23. Dear God, help me. If you return to the Almighty and submit and humble yourself before him, he will build you up. If you put away unrighteousness far from your tents, mm -hmm. and if you lay gold in the dust and the gold of Orphe or, or, or fire among the stones of the brook, considering them of little worth, and make the Almighty your gold and the Lord your precious silver and treasure, then you will have delight in the Almighty, and you will lift up your face to God. Verse 27, and you will make your prayer to him and he will hear you and you will pray your vows. You shall also decide and decree. This is declaring and decreeing a thing and it shall be established for you and the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. Father, we thank you for word. Your word, Jesus, is you. For you were the word in the beginning. And you are the word today. You are yes. living and you are not dead. And we declare that this word is going to penetrate the hearts of men and women of God all around the world. And they are going to see you in a way they've never seen you before. Yes, and, and the presence of the Holy Spirit is going to consume them this morning. And I just thank you for it right now mm -hmm. in advance of what it is that you're about to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the scripture here, Job is 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 hearing from the Lord and he says to him that you need to return to the Almighty. You need to return and submit and humble yourself before him. And 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 I heard this clearly this morning that there are a lot of people out there that are claiming to be Christians or say that they are believers but but they have never humbled themselves before the Lord and submitted themselves to the Almighty. And he says that when you do this before him, that he will build you up, but you have to put away all unrighteousness from your tents. So he will build you up, but you need to put away all unrighteousness yes. um, from your tents, meaning the house of God, which is here living on the inside of me, living on the inside of you, mm -hmm. Put it all away, get rid of it, do away with it, and and just cast it all away from you. Um, don't play games with it. It's it is it is it is unfortunate to see how many people are playing games when it comes to the things of God and the Word of God, and they're playing games with the the grace of Jesus. And he said you should put it all away. Lay aside. Everything, all your cares, lay aside all of these things. Lay aside everything of, of, of what you think sustains you. I love how he said this. He said, take all your gold and all your precious things and all your stuff and just go throw it out in the dirt. Mm -hmm. He said, because that's actually what it means to me. Because you, you've put so much faith in all of these things, you put so much faith in the money or the job or positions or promotions, or you put all this, all your faith in titles and all this stuff. And the Lord said, if you'll just, just throw it in the dirt. He said, this, this is, this is not what it is that I want you to do because you've, you've tried to make these things sustain you, all your precious mm -hmm. silver and treasures. So if you'll throw this all away, then you will delight in the Lord. Okay, here we go. You'll have joy. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord will come to you when you have submitted all your things yes. and submitted everything to the Lord. He said, make the almighty your gold. Mm -hmm. Make the almighty your gold and your treasure. For where your treasure is, there your heart is also. And, and I believe that we say scriptures, but do we really mean them? Do we really take the time to to look at that scripture and say, Lord, you're my treasure. You're my all. You're yes. you're the alpha and the omega, the, the beginning and the end. You are the author and the perfecter of my faith. You are 
uh, Jehovah. You are Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, yes. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sitkanu. You are Jehovah Jireh. Yes. You are everything to me. You are my treasure. I'm, I'm willing to, to sell. Um, I'm willing to go take what I have found and dig a hole and bury it and then go buy the land. I'm willing to go buy it, sell everything and buy the precious land of where your presence is because I want I want you to be my gold. I want you to be my treasure. I want you to be my all in all and nothing else. Yes. Nothing else. I don't want to put my trust. Some put their trust in horses and chariots, but I put my trust in the Lord. And I trust in him and I trust that he will make a way. And yes. I trust that he will open the door and I trust that he will send. Come on, man. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. So make the almighty your gold. When you do that and he is your treasure, verse 26 says, the joy of the Lord will come. You will see the Lord face to face. No longer will you live in shame. Yeah. And, and, and. How shameful it is to try to dwell in the Lord and, and let unrighteousness in your home yeah. and live in an unrighteous place and, and, and try to commingle the world with the Lord. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't happen. Uh, you, you can't do that. Um, you, you, you'll, you may see glimpses of glory, but you'll never see fullness of glory. Yes. And I don't want to see glimpses. I want to see fullness. I want to walk in favor and glory all the days of my life. And I want you to walk in favor and glory all the days of your life. So when you do this and you delight in the almighty and you lift up your face to God, watch what happens in verse 27. You make your prayers to him and he will hear you. Yes. So here, watch this. When you pray now, after putting away all unrighteousness, after declaring, God, all of these things are no longer my treasures. All of these things that I've put before you, all of these things that I've placed in front of you, all of these things that I've made a God unconsciously. Unconsciously, I've made this my God, thinking that this will sustain me, protect me, take care of me, and, and bless me. And, and the whole time, it, it, it's like a form of manipulation. You can't manipulate God in your prayers because yeah. he knows the truth. He knows what you're really doing. So all of these prayers that were trying to be prayed before, mm -hmm. he did not hear them. Well, wait a minute. He hears the sinner. No, understand. Jesus hears the sinner when the sinner is crying out for redemption. Yeah. But when you're living in sin, he's not listening to you. Well, it separates you from Yeah, it, it separates you from the Lord. He's not yeah. listening. He, he has no requirement to bless you. And, and, mm -hmm. and answer your prayers when you're living an unrighteous life and, and you're allowing other things to be the treasure in your life. He doesn't hear you. But when you call upon him and claim him as your only treasure and he is the Lord of lords in your life and he is everything to you, scripture then says you will now make prayers to him and he will hear you and you will pay, you will pay your vows. You, you will do what it is that you said that you would do. Many, many people in the church have made vows and they have not done what they said they were going to do. Seriously, and, and, and he said, I, mean, I, I he can said, tell you story after story. He's like, I can't bless you. In situations. I can't bless you. You're asking me to bless you, but you made a vow to me that you were going to do this and you never did it. So and because, that, hold on, and because you never did it, I, and you didn't uphold your end of the bargain, I, I don't have to uphold mine. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, what it is that you promised to him and then he blessed you, if you don't do your part, soon what it was will leave. It'll be gone. It'll be gone. Everything will be gone. If you do not do with what God has given you, what you said you were going to do, he will take it from you. I don't know if I believe that. Go read about the man that Jesus gives the account of the man that hands out the mina or the talent. And he says, I've given all of you 10 talents. One man took the talent and he turned it into 10 more. 
and Jesus, and, and then the, the, the man comes back and he says, you have done good with, watch what he says, you've done good with my money. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you the 10 that you made, I give to you and I give you authority over 10 cities. Mm -hmm. Then the guy that had 10 men, he, he said he got to five. He said, I've gained five. He said, all right, I'm giving you five more. I'll give you those five. And then you, and I'll give you authority over five cities. Then he comes down to the guy with the one and he said, I hid it. I didn't yeah. do anything with it. And he goes, you are wicked. Yeah. You're a wicked servant. He said, take what is his and give it to the one that has 10. Mm -hmm. For whoever has none, what he does have will be taken for him and be given to the one that has plenty because he did according to it what the Lord said to do with it. And watch what he, it is because, watch this, you made God your treasure and not the talent. Wow. So he hears your prayers when you have done away with all the unrighteousness you call upon the Lord. He is your treasure and nothing else. Mm -hmm. He is your all in all. He is your blessing. And it comes to verse 7. Now that he hears you and everything is in alignment, look at the authority he gives us. You shall declare and decree a thing. What thing? Any thing. All things. Because God is your treasure, nothing else. He's now saying, the, let, let, okay, let, let, let's slow down. God's your treasure. Once you give to God what is his, the joy of the Lord comes. So now he's walking in the joy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have joy, peace unspeakable. And yeah. then he turns and he says, now I hear you. Now, because you put me where I'm supposed to be as God, mm -hmm. as, as almighty in your life, I release joy over you. Now I'm hearing your prayers. Now, anything that you decree, it's going to be done for you. Yes. Anything you decree, verse 28. Oh, I love that. It shall be established for you. And the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. I declare a thing. I declare it and it will be established. Yes. And God's favor goes before me. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for blessing. Blessing is chasing me down. We got to change the way that we think. God bless me. No, 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 no. God is blessing me. Blessing chases me down. I declare right now that blessing is chasing after me. I declare that I am favored by God. I declare right now that I am the head and not the tail above and not beneath. I declare that my marriage is incredible. I declare that my finances are overflowing, pressed down, shaken together. Shall men give to my bosom because I am a giver. And I, I declare right now all of the seed that I have yes. sown in a time of famine. Lord, just as you did with Isaac, I will reap a hundredfold in the yes. name of Jesus. In the same year, reap a hundred times more than what I sowed. I declare and decree that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I declare and decree that the glory of the Lord shall shine upon me all the days of my life. I'm yes. hidden under the shadow of the Almighty. I declare and decree yes. that the blessing of God comes in the morning and joy unspeakable. I declare and decree that yes. this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I declare and decree that all the desires of my heart are being answered by the Father yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because I have given all things unto the Lord and I've taken all the treasures yes. of this world and thrown them into the dirt and I have rebuked all unrighteousness yes. to walk in the favor and the glory and the fire and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Come on, you've got to speak it. I declare and decree the debt freedom of God. I declare and decree that, that anything and everything that I put my hands to will be blessed. Yes. I declare and decree that wherever my feet may tread, I take authority in that territory. And now the glory of the Lord has to follow me all the days of my life and wherever yes. I go. Let me, let me, 
Speak the word of the Lord. We pray, we declare and decree. You shall decide. You shall decree. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you. And the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. Declare and decree. Serve a God that calls those things that aren't as though they are. Speak. Power of Holy Spirit. Second half of this year will bring double into my life. Double glory. Yes. Double righteousness. Double increase. Yes. Double provision. Is that that as we have sown seed in famine? Listen to me. Listen to me. I, I don't care what the what the nation is talking about a recession. I refuse to take part in a recession because I'm not so I'm not giving my money to the government. I'm giving my money to the Lord. I sow into the kingdom of Almighty yes. God. Then I'm I'm sowing into the provision of heaven and not into the recession of America. Yes. You have to choose. Where do I want to sow? Do I want to sow into recession or do I want to sow into the intercession of the Lord? Yes. To where God says, man, you've sown in famine just like Isaac. You will prosper and be prospering as you prosper even greater. Amen. Why? Because I'm not going to walk in fear. I don't live in fear. Amen. I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. God, bring our faith back to a place where we really truly believe and honor you and glorify you and magnify you and stand in the midst of all adversity and declare a thing knowing that it is reality. The reality of the Lord God that he is here. He is hearing his praise, filling the atmosphere and the fire of God and the joy of the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glorify your holy name. Your favor goes before me. Your blessing chases me down. I declare your favor goes before me. I declare your blessing chases me down. I declare your favor goes before me. I declare your blessing chases me down. I declare that these next assignments, uh, I speak to the state of Arkansas that we will be here, there for three weeks. And I declare right now, favor go before me. Blessing chase me down. Prepare, yes. prepare the rocky soil I, I declare, Holy Ghost, that you would turn the rocks over. Yes. Remove them. Make their hearts pliable. Get them ready to receive yes. word. Yes. That as we sow the word of God into their hearts, that they would be joyful to sow material things for the spreading of the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. That's what Paul said. Did we not come to sow the word of God and do... If we would, if we sow uh, the things of the kingdom, would you not sow material things so that we can continue yes. to go and preach Jesus to a lost and dying world? Bring yes. revival to the saint. Yes. So that the saint will be quickened to go out and win the lost. Yes. Praise God, man. Amen. Declare a thing. Whatever it is you need to declare, why don't you just go ahead and declare? First of all, we need to, you need, first of all, you may need to repent. First of all, you, you might have to humble yourself. Lord, you, you may need to say, Lord, I return to you as my almighty. Forgive me for making, now listen to me with everything inside of me, family. Listen to me. I love my country. I signed up. I will defend my country foreign and domestic terror against foreign and domestic terrorists. I, I love it. I love it, but I love my God first. Yes. Okay. I'm going to return to the almighty and submit. Just say it right now. I'll return to the almighty and submit and humble myself before the Lord. I built, I, I want you to build me up and in building me up, Lord God, I put away all unrighteousness. Mm. 
and it's far from my home, far from my family, in the name of Jesus, and all the gold and all this stuff that I had that I put my hope in, mm. I cast it to the dust, yes. to the stones of the brook, considering them as little worth, and I put you back, almighty God, you are my gold, you are my Lord, you are my precious silver and treasure. Give it back to you. And now that I've done this, I've repented and humbled myself before you. Your word says you'll delight. I will delight. Then you will delight. I will delight in the almighty. Yes, Jesus. And you will lift my face up to you, God. And when you do that, now that when I pray, mm -hmm. you answer my prayers. You hear my cry. Yes. And everything that I said that I would do. Every vow that I ever made to you, Lord, that I have not followed up in or followed through with, I return to it to do it now. And I declare and decree a new thing. I declare and decree a thing. And whatever I declare and decree in the righteousness of Christ Jesus, not in and out of sin, in the righteousness of Christ Jesus, it shall be established to me. Lord, give me my mountain in the name of Jesus. Give me my mountain. I declare my mountain in the name of Jesus. Give me my mountain. Where the wicked has tried to rob and steal from me. Make them pay back seven times. Shut the mouths of my enemies. Declare it. Enemies against the kingdom, be shut. Enemies against the glory, be shut. Enemies against the joy of the Lord, be shut. Enemies against the freedom and the fire of the Holy Ghost, be shut. If you will not receive it, then I declare you to be shut up. And I declare over the body of Christ that receives this word this morning, supernatural favor, supernatural glory, supernatural fire, supernatural increase, yes. supernatural faith, supernatural blessing. Whatever you declare and decree, expect that God is going to do it because he mm. said it. He will establish mm. your word. I will establish it for you. <laughs> and the light of God's favor will be upon you. It will shine upon all that you do. Yes. Oh, I want him to shine upon all that I do. I want him to shine upon... Chris Brooks Ministries. I want him to shine upon the churches we go into. I want to shine. I want him to shine upon the saints when we go into the houses of God, that they'll receive him with joy and gladness, that they will break free from religion and yes. bondage, the chains of the pharisaical and yes. Sadducee mindsets, break out of religion and break into joy. Now, in the name of Jesus. Mm, hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm done. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. If you're just now jumping on, make sure to go back and watch the beginning of this. The replay is going to be all over Instagram, YouTube, possibly coming up on our podcast. So just share this inbox, this tag, this to everyone. Um, and be praying with us as we are praying for you for an outpouring of the joy of the Lord and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ooh, I never you, preach Jesus. another message. That's all I feel like I'm going to preach. My God, I love you, Jesus. Lord, Thank I love you. Jesus. you. All right, I just declare over you again. The blessing of the Lord, the favor of God, the favor of God go before you and the blessing of God chase you down. Amen. Amen. May the favor of God go before you and the blessing chase you down in Jesus' 
mighty name. Amen. All right, we love you. Tell them why it is important for them to sow into this world. Well, if you don't sow, you won't be blessed. That's well, all. If you don't sow, it. you're not going to reap. If you don't sow, you're not going to reap. If you don't sow, you won't be blessed. Uh, give generously. Scripture says, "Well, just be give generously. Give, press down. It'll give back to you. Press down, shaking together, overflowing." Um, so when you do that, you become a partner in this ministry. You're sowing into fertile soil that is touching lives around the world, winning souls, teaching believers how to walk in the fullness of everything that God has for them. In doing so, you will be blessed. Amen. We do the same thing. We sow into ministries and we watch God bless us on a daily basis. So hear from the Holy Spirit. Do what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Uh, pay your vows <laughs> and watch what God does and it will be a tremendous blessing unto you for the Lord wants to see you blessed. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, uh, all our partners, we're ready to see you or not all of them, but the ones that are coming, <laughs> we can't wait. And, uh, we'll see you Monday. We'll see you Monday. We love you guys. See ya.